Good morning and welcome to Wednesday morning Bible study. Today we are going to discuss Luke chapter 17 verses 11 to 20 in the New International Version of the Bible, the NIV. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, 10 men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. The coming of the kingdom of God once on being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come. Jesus replied, the coming of the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed, nor will people say here it is or there it is, because the kingdom of God is within you. Amen. Amen. So before we go too deep, what words stand out? Jesus, Master, have pity on us. The kingdom of God is within you. Within you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Go show yourselves to the priests, which is interesting. He threw himself at Jesus' feet. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Have pity on us. Jerusalem. The... Uh, your faith has made you well. Some of, some of Jesus' comments make me smile. Where are the other nine? <laughs> Stood at a distance. Amen. We're cleansed. The coming of the kingdom of God. It's not something that can be observed. Hmm? Praising God in a loud voice. Amen. Amen. At his Rise and go. Amen. The coming of the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed. No one returned to give praise to God. That's right. The foreigner. Your faith has made you well. Amen. Amen. Would somebody like to read it a second time? Now, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. Yeah, Galilee. As he was going into a village, 10 men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go, show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, we're not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. The coming of the kingdom of God want women. The coming of the kingdom of God wants. On being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus replied, the coming of the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed. Nor will people say, here it is or there it is because the kingdom of God is within you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Mona Ray. So what are, what are, what are, there's a lot in, a lot in here, like all of our passages. What, um, what stands out? The first, the 10 men who had leprosy met him. Jesus, master, have pity on us, which which is is not unusual. But then why why would he say, go show yourselves to the priest? 
That last part for mm -hmm. me, the coming of the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed and will nor will people say here it is, here it is, right. because the kingdom of God is within you. Right. Wow. Right. Yeah, that's 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 the that's the power of this. That's the meat of this. But but the question we ask too is is going back to why why show ourselves to the priests? We know Jesus was not too impressed with the priests. Right. Because the priests were his were his adversaries. Mm -hmm. And he just wanted to show them once again, this is the power of God. This is right. not the power of Jesus. This is right. the power of my father. The power of God. Exactly. Yeah, that that ten one thing gets me. <laughs> right. And, and the oh. one was the Samaritan, supposedly right. the, the evil people. They, you know, that but that applies to us, right? How many right. of us? Have said, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Yet we don't, we don't praise God. Amen. Help us, help me, God, help me, help me. But then we don't show up. I know. It says your faith has made you well, and uh, and it was actually the faith they had in going back to the priest. They could have walked away, saying, "Well, Jesus isn't going to do it. I'm going to go someplace else." But at least they had the faith to go back. You mean you mean asking for help isn't faith enough? You actually have to. <laughs> you actually have to praise God. You can't just yeah. ask for help. You have to do something <laughs> and, and go your merry way. But again, that's a deep message for all of us. Is our faith making us heal? Mm. In a sense, good morning, everyone. In a sense, that was like. Uh, Taking God's favor for granted. Those other nine. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, I'm privileged. I'm, you know, I don't have to say thank you. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you know, the uh, and, and then metaphorically, we're th throwing ourselves at Jesus's feet mm -hmm. and thanking him. Do we mm -hmm. throw ourselves to, to, you know, at Jesus's feet mm -hmm. and how we pray and how we act? Yeah. You say grace before you eat your meal. Are you really grateful for that meal that you have that others may not have. So that's Jesus and the pastor's job to heal us. <laughs> that's right. It's not our job. We don't have to do it. We just yeah. we just show up. We just show up. But but it really gets you thinking. I mean, am I throwing myself at Jesus' feet? Am I fully throwing myself there? You know? Mm. Yeah. And, and again, just I love the understated Jesus, you know, you know, let he who is without sin throw cast the first stone. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not all 10 cleansed. All these understated statements. I, you know, I love it. I, I really love you don't have to be boisterous. But he also told the woman, go and sin no more. Mm -hmm. Go and sin no more. Right. Right. But very, very, very subtle. And also, and also let's go and show the priest. That's what we should do. That's when our testimony is we go and tell others of what goodness God has shown us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's interesting for me is um, that, that, wait, no, 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 I lost it. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. But and the, the, again, the, the the words "rise and go." Your faith has made you well. So to think about when 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 our prayers aren't answered, you know, is our faith is are we throwing ourselves at Jesus' feet? Is our faith strong enough? Can our faith make us well? I think so because the last verse says um, that the kingdom of God is within us. Mm -hmm. So, but if you if you take it deeper and you think about it, my faith makes me well, it doesn't mean that what you pray for happens, but your faith allows you to deal with any circumstance, whether it's death or illness or other things. It doesn't mean that that and you're well, you become well because God is within you. It is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. And so so there really is nothing on earth that our faith could not help us deal with. Mm. Doesn't mean that we get what we want, but our faith makes us well. And that, that's a that's a powerful thing that we don't think about that. That 
you know, we have faith, but we still aren't well. Mm -hmm. That means we don't have full faith. Yeah, it's like tests, mm -hmm. right? It, mm -hmm. okay. Testing us to see what we would do. Right. Yeah, the we we have a loved one who who, who 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 God forbid passes away in the hospital. Again, our faith can make us well. Which is that peace that passes all understanding. Peace that passes all human understanding. Exactly. Exactly. But and then getting to go ahead, Rita. But our faith is a gift, uh, one of those nine gifts that God mm -hmm. has given us when we bring the Holy Spirit in us to live in us, um, to uh, be with us, to be through us. And, and according to 1 Corinthians 12, 1 through 31, those spiritual gifts only come through Jesus. We inherit those spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. And one of those spiritual gifts is the gift of faith. Mm -hmm. So you can um, have faith, but to exercise that faith, you have to have Jesus <laughs> and the Holy Spirit in you, on you, and through you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Dr. Rita. Yes. Thank you for always, you called out 1 Corinthians 12 the last time I was, and I've been reading that. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you so much. Just to just to share a little short story with you, I was taught that scripture the wrong way when I was young, mm. and I was taught that each person has one of those gifts, not that each of us, everyone mm. has all of those gifts. Right. So mm -hmm. now that I know um, the correct understanding of that scripture, it makes a whole lot more sense. So I just want to share that with you. Thank you so much again. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Would somebody like to read it a final time? Well, I'll read it again. Now, on the way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, 10 men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all 10 cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this one foreigner? Then he said to him, rise up and go. Your faith has made you well. The coming of the kingdom of God once on being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus replied, the coming of of the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed, nor will people say, here it is, or there it, there it is, because the kingdom of God is within you. Amen. 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 So, so what do we walk away with today? What do we, uh, what, what do we live? There's a lot, a lot here for us to reflect on. What stands out first? I need to stay at the feet of the cross, <laughs> feet of Jesus. Feet of Jesus, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Are we throwing ourselves to the feet of Jesus and thanking, thanking Him? Yes, gratefulness. And, and you know something too, in, in those very first verses where it says, um, when He went into a village, there were ten men. These men who had this leprosy were standing at a distance. How many times do we have unbelievers because of what the church? has done, maybe church hurt or whatever, stand at a distance mm -hmm. from the church. And it's up to us to bring those people closer to their understanding of what the kingdom of God is. And they have to see it in us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, amen. 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 And again, the, 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 the powerful, the kingdom of God is within us. That should stick with us throughout the day, just to think about the kingdom of God within each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. 
for me, this this applies to some things that I'm guilty of even today. When God has healed you and has taken care of you, and then you go off and do your thing, mm. you forget uh, mm. how much God has done for you because mm. you get all busy and wrapped up into your schedule and whatever you're doing. But um, to remind yourself that you got here because of Jesus and because God has done so many wonderful things for you, but we have a tendency to forget what mm -hmm. God has done for us. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm just as guilty as the next person. So, Amen. We, we, we all, we all again, are. Yeah. I and think we all that in, the, in our distant past. You know, we forgot that healing. We forgot what God had done for us. And we need to bring ourselves back into that fold. And and and, and you notice how I start out, you know, most of the time saying, you know, just waking up, thanking God, throwing ourselves at Jesus' feet that we can wake up because there's no guarantee we're going to wake up, no matter Amen. what. Our... Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, this this Lenten season, mm -hmm. this Lenten season, when you said uh, self reflection, mm -hmm. um, that just stayed with me because. You have to stop and take a look at yourself and mm -hmm. it has you to look where God has brought you from, um, brought you out of different things. And sometimes okay. we forget about the small things, being able to, um, I was listening to Diane, being able to move your arm and clean yourself and, you, you know, different things. Mm -hmm. That's a blessing within itself. And um, we forget about those things. And uh, I think this is the time that we need to think about those things, act upon those things, and um, be grateful. A lot of people are not grateful. They're not grateful for the things in their lives. We always want more instead right. of just being grateful for what yeah. he has blessed us with. Exactly. Exactly. Well said, Don. Very well said. What else stands out for, for, for folks as we walk away with? This, this important passage. Being healed as you go. Mm. Many times, you know, mm. we want healing to happen, you know, automatically and to take over and, you know, be this miracle. But I, that healing as you go, they will, as they walk towards the priest, they were, they were mm. healed. That's, um, stands out to me. And, and, and again, your faith has made you well, is that, no matter what we experience, our faith, we are well. If we have the faith Jesus calls us to have, we're mm -hmm. going to be well under all circumstances. Mm -hmm. No matter mm -hmm. what we experience, no matter what happens, frankly, mm -hmm. our faith makes us well. And, and it's so easy to forget that. Mm -hmm. So easy to so easy to forget that and, and continue to be depressed. Mm -hmm. Always remember that Jesus is the master of everything. Mm -hmm. you know, he's the master of everything. And if you know that, everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. That the I... kingdom is right inside of you. You don't have to be worried. Amen. Amen. The... I just realized now that the man who left never went to see the priest. He saw he was healed and came right back, praising God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, exactly. And and so and also the the the, the message of the Samaritan, the outcast, the mm -hmm. forgotten, the foreigner, the foreigner, yeah. the one who who was supposedly the most sinful, you mm -hmm. know. So uh, you know, often, you know, the the you know, it's important for us to remember those that have been forgotten. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important for us to Activate the faith. Activate mm -hmm. that faith that's within us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it says, uh, just like with the, the lady, he told her, he said, your faith has made you whole. Right. So faith is very, very important. Right, right. It really is everything. That is everything. But it's... you have to have the faith that works, though. Mm -hmm. If the faith works, I mean, what what are you doing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Your faith for you to have the faith you have to have it work you and, know and and you have to throw yourself at jesus's feet metaphorically 
Mm. And to reflect on what does that really mean? How do I throw? And maybe that's the that's the challenge today is for us to reflect on how do I throw myself at Jesus's feet today? Yeah. He, but right. Jesus and the Holy Spirit should be in you, on you, and through you. Oh, so um, unlike this passage, Jesus still had not left. But once he left, um, all you have to do is call upon the Holy Spirit to be in you. And uh, you're good to go. Yeah. Amen. If, Amen. If, if, if you do it genuinely. See, the thing is, it, it has to be genuine and really, really deep inside of who you are. And so that's hard. You know, nothing good is is easy. So, um, um, well, this is this is wonderful. I will. Um, we'll we'll take some private prayers. As we as we move uh, move forth, but great discussion. This is a powerful passage, and I hope you will reflect on this passage today, tomorrow, and the rest of the week.